trying to get him an ambulance after they harassed him, slammed him down, NYPD, you understand? It's going viral right here. It's going viral right here. NYPD harassing people for no reason. He didn't do anything at all. Going viral. Now they want to step back. They want to try to get him an ambulance after they beat him up. Walking to the ground. Nice try. So going viral. Harassment. Prejudice cops on Staten Island. This is what they do. Goddamn shame. Took that man live. Racist ass cops on Staten Island. This is what the fuck they do.
Now, for you guys that haven't found out yet, um, the officers that were involved in the chokehold and ultimately the death of Eric Garner got no indictment today. And, you know, it's just another another wake-up call to the black community that these people don't give a shit about us. The justice system is not designed to be fair to black folks here in this country. Now, you guys just saw that man laid out like that. You would think if he's not breathing, if you see it, this man is completely out of it to the point where you guys got to call a paramedic. You would think that they would uncuff him, let him get some air, and let the man breathe or try to get some type of air so that he can gain consciousness again. And, you know, I, I'm tired of hearing about you know, brothers, you know, getting killed by the hands of the officers or, you know, just white folks who feel like they can just, you know, take a black life for the hell of it because nobody really gives a damn about us. And they can just get away with it and say, oh, well, it was self-defense or, you know, I felt like I was in danger or, you know, he looked big and black. He, he looked like a wrestler. So I had to take his life and kill him and take him away from his family. I'm getting tired of this shit, man. You know, I come out here and I do these videos because I want to speak to my people, especially, you know, my generation, because I feel like we really have the power. We have the voice. We have the, the, the energy to really go out here and change a lot of things that we see out here in our society. The old folks, you know, they getting old. A lot of them, you know, they, 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 they lost the spirit. A lot of them don't have the energy or the well-being to really go out there and really fight for the things that we need to get done in this country. It's up to us. And this is why I said we need to start controlling our dollar. We need to start understanding the world that we live in. We need to stop thinking that we live in a post-racial society. Because they're gunning us down left and right. Whether it's the, the police department, whether it's some, some 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 white person that feel like they can just murder anybody, anybody. We black especially black men are getting gunned down left and right. And the sisters, but especially the black men, because like I said before, black men, we are the leaders in our community. So if you if you take out the head, the rest of the body will fall. But, you know, my condolences go out to, uh, you know, Eric Garner and his family. You know, I mean, it's sad. You know, I look at this picture here. You know, this, this is his brother and his family. You know, this, this man had kids. This man had a wife. And he lost his life over some bullshit. Over the police department abusing their authority. And it seemed like every time I turn on the TV, every time, you know, I, I get on... Uh, social media or go to a website and see what's going on in the world. I'm hearing about another young black man or black woman being killed senselessly by the police department. And you know, I don't want you know none of you you coon ass black folks or you racist coming on my channel talking about well, what about black on black crime and shit because this is the, the issue that we have to we have to deal with. There's a bigger issue going on in this world, which is the reason to why this stuff is happening over and over and over again. And these people are getting all scot-free. It's, it, it's, it's nothing. Kill a black life. It, it don't matter. You know, oh, no indictment, you know, no charge. You get to go on your, your merry-go-way and enjoy your life and go home to your family. And, you know, like I said before, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, rioting is, you know, the thing that we need to do. I think there's there's other ways that we can really kick this system in the ass. And I've addressed that in previous videos. But it's time for us to start coming together and unifying against this bullshit. I mean, it, it, this is sad. This could be your father, your brother, somebody in your family. It can be your, your little sister, your mother. We just saw a couple of months ago that officer in L.A. that fucking tackled that black woman on the freeway. Like a goddamn grizzly bear. 
I, I, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about this shit, you know, because it, it's, it's pissing me off. And, you know, it, 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 it shows you that the black life is not worth anything to this American system. To the justice system. And we got a president in office right now, you know, talking about, oh, yeah, you know, with the, the, the cops, I'm going to try to, you know, have it to where they have cameras on. They already got cameras. It's a bigger, deeper issue to what's going on here in society. And we got a president, a, a so-called black president that's skipping over this. That's acting like there's no issue. Or trying to deflate the real issue that's going on. But that's all I got to say, man. You know, this is sad. I'm pissed off about it. I'm angry. And I'm tired of hearing about this bullshit. Black folks, we got to come together. We got to stop, you know, bickering with one another or, or, over nonsense. You know, or, over, over, you know, money or gangs or, you know, or, or, or complexion or, you know, or sexuality. All this, this bullshit that really don't mean it. We have to combat this system. Because we have a system that we live in around us that does not give a damn about us. And they'll gun down you, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, anybody in your family and get away with it. But that's all I got to say. Let's wake up black folks and let's start doing work out here.